Hello, thank you for joining us today for the editing video portion of the Memory Lab tutorial. You will want to launch Adobe Premiere Video Editor by starting on Elements 15 and choosing Video Editor on the far right side. Once it is loaded, you will select Quick and Add Media. Then you'll come over here to Files and Folders on your left. And depending on where your videos are, you'll either choose Memory Lab Scans or Memory Lab Videos, which we will use for this example today. Once you've found your files that you would like to use, double click and it will add the media to the carousel at the bottom of your screen. A special note, if you are in a hurry and just have a few clips, you can come over here to create in the top right corner and click instant movie and it will automatically drop some of your videos based on theme and will lay them in special order without you needing to do a lot of editing. So once you're ready to edit your video, you will see a line of clips at the very bottom on this carousel. So from the carousel, you will be able to see your scenes in a certain order. You can click in a few spots where you can select where you would like to edit and cut your scenes. When you find one of your scene pictures and you want to increase the length, hover to the right about an eighth of an inch where you can drag one way or the other and increase the length of time for that scene that will show up on your video. If you want to edit a certain scene, you can select this little scissor icon next to the red line, and then you'll be able to see a, a break there where then you can increase the length of the video to the right or to the left of that screen. Once you find the video that you want to clip, and you will see the blue highlighted box around some. You may also, for a shortcut, just hit the delete key and immediately you'll drop out that portion of the video that you no longer want. Optionally, you can add a title sequence by coming over here to this T on the far right side and where you'll see a theme that you can select and simply drag it down to the carousel portion where you would like to put it. And at that point, you may change the text to whatever you would like. And this is going to be the themed beginning to your video, if you so desire. Once your video is final and you have no further edits, you will select Export and Share in the top right corner. And then select the Devices tab to the left right here. We'd recommend for most VHS and for old photos, the best resolution is SD576 with the MP4 format and medium speed, which usually is going to be pre-selected for you. Then all you'll need to do is type your file name. You can do that by browsing for your file. But before you do that, if you decide that you want to preview your video, you can come over here and preview what you have worked on and decide if you're ready to fully save it and burn it, or if you're ready to make some more changes, which you can go back and do that at any time you would like. So once you're ready to browse, or browse so that you can edit your video, so lose your folder that you'd like to save, and then hit the save button here, which will save your file to the folder that you selected. If you would like to burn to a disk instead, select the disk option, you can then choose, again, SD576 would be the preferred one to select. And you can begin to burn once you have a disk in your DVD writer by hitting the button here. And then you just wait for the bar to go across and you are done. Don't forget to write on your disk what memories so that you'll be able to remember what it is for future content. And thank you for watching and visiting our tutorials for our memory labs here at the FCPL library.